Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we'll subtract fractions, again, when uh, we have a common denominator, and we will be simplifying the result here, uh, as we have done in the past when we were learning how to add fractions. So here, let's go ahead and subtract the fraction 3 eighths, uh, and we'll subtract from that 1 eighth. Now, first of all, notice I'm writing the problem on top of each other. Uh, and whereas in the last section we were writing them horizontally, it really doesn't matter how you write the problem. I'm trying to show you different ways of writing it on your paper, and you can choose the way that works for you. You're going to be doing the same steps in any case. I try to like to write them like this, because when I'm finding my common denominators, it's a little easier for me to see what's happening. But really, if you write them horizontally or vertically, it's, it's whatever you prefer. But in this case, we notice that we already have a common denominator, and that is 8. Because we have an 8 in the bottom for both fractions, we just keep it in the answer. And then we have 3 minus 1. Now, in the past, I've been actually writing 3 minus 1, but I think we've been doing this long enough, you know that you're just subtracting the numerators. 3 minus 1 is 2. All right, so then we look and see, is this the uh, final answer? Well, we could write it down. It is the correct answer, but we notice that we can simplify this because I'm I can divide the top by 2, and I can also divide the bottom by 2. Remember, you can divide a fraction by anything you want as long as you do it to the top and to the bottom. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the answer to this is 1 fourth. Now, in truth, 2 eighths, which is what we calculated first, is really exactly the same amount of pizza, for instance, as 1 fourth. So they're both the correct answer, but when you work a test, when you work a problem, you always want to simplify the answer. So when you do anything with fractions, when you get to the answer, you want to check and see if it's simplified, and then simplify it after that point. All right, so then on the next problem, what if we have 5 sixth, and we're subtracting from that 1 sixth. Oh, again, we look and see, do we have a common denominator? In this case, we do. So we just keep it in our answer. And then we look at the numerator, 5 and 1. And we're starting with this, so 5 minus 1 is 4. Now, we could circle this, but then we look and see, is this simplified? And we know, notice right away that I can divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And when I do that, I'm going to end up getting 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the answer you would circle is 2 thirds. It represents the same thing that 4 sixth represents, but it just looks a little simpler, so we always do that when we solve our problems. All right, the next problem, what if we had 9 tenths and we're subtracting from that 4 tenths? Like this. So same story again. We're just checking to see, do we have a common denominator? And we do, so we carry 10 in the answer and we subtract the numerators. 9 minus 4 gives us 5, right? So we check and see, is this fully simplified? Now you may, or almost always when you try to simplify fractions, you try to divide by 2 first. In this case, we can't divide both of these by 2. We can't do that. But we uh, notice right away that we can divide this by 5, and we can also divide this by 5. So remember, you can divide by anything you like as long as you do it in the top and the bottom. So this will be 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2, so you get 1 half. This makes sense that 1 half of a pizza is the same as 5 out of 10 pieces of the pizza. They represent the same thing, they just look a little simpler when you do the simplification like that. So 1 half is what you would get. And then the final problem we're going to do here is 7 twelfths minus 5 twelfths. Right, we're going to do that. We'll check to see do we have a common denominator, and we do. It's 12. And then for the numerators, we do 7 minus 5, which